Okay, so let's get one thing out of the way. The Q-tip is, in fact, a real weapon in the game. You can pay for this with real money. I'm already regretting doing this video. And when I say Q-tip only, I mean it. No bows, no shields, and no tools. I'm also outlawing the hidden blade and fist. This gets rid of stealth takedowns. Without stealth takedowns, restricted areas, as you could imagine, become way more difficult. In the game, we have multiple targets. These are the main people we have to kill. The only time I will be upgrading my Q-tip is immediately after killing one of these people. Any other time is not allowed. And the final rule that will make this challenge by far one of the hardest challenges ever attempted on AC Origins in my second weapon slot, I will have a swordfish equipped. Even though I cannot use this swordfish, it comes with a cursed debuff, meaning I will only have a third of my health. It will sit promptly inside my inventory, I will never use it. Q-tip only, boys. With all of these rules, and the difficulty being set to Nightmare, you can see how this challenge is so hard. And now it's time to answer the question, can you beat Assassin's Creed Origins with only a Q-tip? <laughs> Damn it. For the tutorial error, we're forced to only use a sword, so we can kind of forget that this fight exists, right guys? Oh, this is already cursed. Who I'm going to guess is our friend is being attacked by multiple people, so we're forced to use only t I mean Q-tip to take care of them. The first target we're after is the guy who burnt down this entire place and other crimes I won't get into, but I'm sure tax evasion's on there somewhere. As Medjai, it's my job to protect the people and not run them over, which I do quite a lot. We head back home and I meet someone whose name I already forgot. Sit. Sit. I'm not a dog. In an attempt to clean my wounds, she uses a wet sponge against my outfit. Best spot to hit is right in the head. This is the tutorial area. I'm not sure what you expected. Yes, using a bow is part of it. Soldier Grunt 7 makes an appearance and acts like he's not going to die and completely be forgotten about during this video. It's a tutorial section again and we're forced to do a stealth takedown. Nothing we can do about this one, but the rest we can take out normally. Hey bud, are you okay? Do you need to lie down? Are you brain dead? But, but the real problem is that man you want to kill. Majunumon. The people were hopeful when he first arrived. Surely things would improve. We soon learn the truth, actually. I fear for the safety of your virginity, priest. I will move your butthole to a more secure area. That is the man you're up against. Alright, so leveling up. There's a couple things you can do to do this, but the main thing we're going to be worried about is side quests. Like, first of all, you can rescue some prisoners from the camp. And yes, also the dead one. We make it back to where the guy lives. However, sadly, his entire family was also slaughtered. Special delivery! You could talk to a blacksmith who had his stuff stolen from a guard. After getting my at, I mean, after beating him up, the blacksmith offers us a couple different weapons, which we're just going to sell. After beating someone up in a cave, we now have enough upgrade points to get a third of our health. I think you get the idea already. We do a bunch of side quests to level up, and eventually we will continue the main story. Throughout this video, I'll occasionally bring up a side quest, but we're mainly going to be focused onto the story. Just know I'm doing a lot of grinding behind the scenes. I pulled a Uno Reverse card on a guard and met our target, who I was not expecting to be very strong. Got you now, bitch! Your guards can't do anything to stop me from killing you. Oh my god, where'd you come from? No, please! You know what? I give up. What's wrong? You can't handle my Q-tip, boy? Now time for the main guy. Oh my god! What was I thinking? Of course, stealth is the option. Come here! Oh my god, what the heck? I didn't expect you to be strong either. While fighting, I apparently twisted my ankle. Oh my goodness, everyone is after me. For all things that is holy, please do not walk in this grass. Oh god, please, I don't want to die. Ah! I did another side quest where a kid told me that another kid was trapped in a cave. Hey, where are you? I can't see it. Where? Uh, I, no wonder you're lost. 
I'll be allowing myself the torch purely to see. I'm not allowed to use it for anything else. I escort the kid out of the cave and finally freedom. Oh my god, there's hyenas. Every man for himself. While side questing, I found my target sleeping, which gave me the perfect opportunity to kill him. Yo. You have returned. To right your wrong. I die, my work unfinished. So close, so very close. But he's one boy. What is one boy? Papa? What the hell? I... I thought I killed you! Flashback time! We are forced to use a bow to hunt an animal. Did you hurt him? A clean shot to the heart. Had the hearts at all. Good thing I got a headshot. One day, I want to shoot an arrow through the sun. All my arrows are sinners. Can I do that? God, how do I get this kid to shut up? Oh, I know! Jump! Some guards stopped me before I could throw my son off a cliff. They then locked me up so I can't kill him. I told my son he can get some V-Bucks if he got me that knife. He did just that. And with that, I proved you can get an abortion at any point. And the guards were just a little upset about this. Oh god, man, I'm not into this freaky shit. And with that, we killed our first target and were able to get our first weapon upgrade. We leave Siwa to track down the snake, but first we have to meet an old friend, specifically this guy. While placing our offerings at Bella Delphine's bathwater, we're ambushed and forced to kill them all. Oh wait, never mind, that's just kids. Finally, I found one! Oh wait, that's a hyena! You're on your own, kid! What is one of you doing down the well? You know what? Good luck with that. Back away, peasant! No one talks to the priest! Some people in the market are selling off-brands, so we're forced to stop them. This guy says he'll tell us everything we need to know if we meet him at night, alone, where no one can hear our screams. Yeah, that's not ominous at all. But first, I decided to do a couple side quests, like taking out this bandit camp. Like attempting to take out this bandit camp. Look at this ferocious animal in its natural habitat. Or I would say natural habitat, it's actually attacking that guy over there. Which we could help, but then again, we could also be getting this valuable loot on this ship. We'll smash these bases, causing a fire, burning the people and the lions. It's a foolproof plan that's sure to work. Well, that could have gone better. Alright, attempt two. We're gonna get that loot. You know what? We're already off to a great start. Ah! Please not to shield, not to shield, ah, you bitch. Alright, I think I got him this time. Woo! Now where's my tiger skin? What? Bronze. Maybe it's in the- uh, This is the wrong boat. And... Oh god. Finally! Jesus, that took forever. What the hell? Where'd you guys come from? You weren't even a part of this! I was just hunting, man! You know, I got them. I don't care if they're on horseback. Oh, God. Oh, God. Leave me alone! I don't even want your stuff! Get me out of here! God, stop shooting me! I'm leaving! I don't care! You can keep the hippo! Oh, God! We now head into wherever this is. To play with our snake. I mean, to kill the snake. Wait, that's weird. I haven't even done this section. Oh god, I messed up the clips. Okay, if the clips are fucked up, I'm not fixing them. Just deal with it. The priest told us he needed a strong warrior. And specifically not us. So we have to go find some drunk dude. Oh, this dude thinks he's stronger than us? Oh, we'll see about that. Sleep with the fishes, bitch. Bro, why are you standing in the flames? Why are you standing in the flames? We then meet Aya's cousin, whose sole purpose is to get us laid. He shows us where Aya is. Huh, I kind of expected Aya to be- Oh my god! Aya was really proud of this weapon she got and wanted us to use it. We won't be using it. We then kill Gernardios, which was pretty easy since that guard just sat there and watched it all happen. Hey man, you gonna like, try and stop me or... Okay then. Alright boy, I like it rough and that's exactly how you're gonna get it. You chose the wrong day to wear a skirt and there's no escaping what I'm gonna do to you. He did mention how he had imaginary bodyguards, which people watching was a huge turn off, so I just sent them instantly to the afterlife. 
aka I sent them to hell. I made it to the top of the bathhouse while dodging and weaving through some dicks. I know, hashtag childhood. We are then forced to use the hidden blade on the snake. Hold still, you fat bastard, and take it like a man. Ugh. Drown. Just drown already. I don't want to use the hidden blade and fail to oh. oh god, get off of me. Oh, your sheer weight is killing me. This is going to get me canceled. Socks on you or I'm into this shit. Oh, take it, boy. Oh, yeah, I have a secret at my sleeve. Oh, you god damn that hurt. Oh, dear gods, he's been murdered. Look at the blood. But he was so handsome. Bayek and Aya have unlocked a new kink for just killing people. Not only did this girl just watch them go at it, but she also felt it. What a pervert! What is it? A snake. I just finished playing with your snake. Not that snake! We meet up with some dude, not important to the story at all. We attempt to save some guy, and the guy who's not important at all tells us we can now meet Cleopatra. I will sleep with anyone. Deal! We learn about the scarab who leaves people for dead in the desert. The hyena who has control over Giza. And I'm gonna keep it a buck with you boys, I forgot the last person. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Woo! Oh god, did I soft lock myself? I can't just fight him. Oh god. So I can leave mission? Uh. Oh. Oh! Oh! Let's go! Town guards! Yeah! Get his ass! Mess him up! Yeah! This is the first time they've ever actually helped me! Scarab is known for leaving people for dead in the desert, with only their heads sticking out. He'll then pour a little bit of Bella Delphine's bath water into a cup, offer it to the person, and then drop it right next to them. Truly, a heartless monster. In other news, we meet this really nice guy. Y you asshole, my why? Well, next thing I know, I'm fighting alongside him. Ah! 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 Then invites me to eat dinner with his family. He then poisons me and leaves me for dead in the desert. I know, that was fast. It was fast for me too. No, you're not supposed to do this in the office, but a nice tap on the ass is what got me moving. And we finally killed the scarab. Whenever he died, there was a perfect opportunity for a Terminator reference, but they didn't take it. Ah, crap, looks like there's gonna be another dead kid in this game. Going to skip the Aya section. We then meet the hyena, which is the first obstacle in this challenge, or real major obstacle. I'm gonna get you! Ah, you have to hit harder than that. Ah! The hyena uses mainly bows, and throughout this entire challenge, bows have been my worst enemy. And my ability in the desert doesn't really help me at all, it makes me more blind than anything. With multiple attempts and fails later, I decided to go do something else to level up and get more ready for the fight. We meet these crazy people. Hey, you thirsty? How about a little bit of soup off to the side? Yes, nice hair soup. Oh, that's good, ain't it? Oh! Let your eyes be open. Oh, oh, oh God, you fucking bitch. She gets a nice comfortable fall while I get to go fuck myself. Ah, the force to use a bow section of the game. I'm sure I can get past it without using the bow. Close your eyes, children! He's forced to break the challenge! Hey, guess what I have? Another arrow! Oh, okay, a bit overdramatic, don't you think? Time to save the loser that got himself stuck in a bandit camp. Good luck down there! Fine, I'll carry you out. I, uh, uh, we better not get close to those alligators. Oh, God. Ah. Okay, where are you going? I was just carrying you. How are you swimming? This is some bullcrap. Why did you make me carry you? Jesus. Okay, let's get to... Where are you going? Dude, those are alligators. We do not go towards the alligators. That's on you, man. I'm, I'm just watch. You think I care? Oh, okay, he's going to land. Oh, you can do parkour and everything, but, you know, I have to carry you. This is some bullcrap! Alrighty, I guess I'll just get you. Just run to the palace. 
Oh, okay, I'll go fuck myself then. What? You asshole! And then find and kill who I think was the lizard. I'm already forgetting their names. It's always a little bit awkward talking to the person you just killed. I know, I know, how dare I do a Ubisoft Club mission. And trust me, breaking the challenge here is 100% worth it. It's not at all towards the main game, so it does it count? Yeah, but you're gonna love the rewards, trust me. Believe it or not, all that for a new camel. Our stupid factor just went up, baby. I am the Medjai, and I will be taken seriously. Goodbye, Simba. Oh god, the jungle was not happy with that. Oh god, we're sinking so fast. I better get out of here and not let the lion out the cage. Oh god. I found a girl that was going to jump off a cliff. All I needed to do was sit and wait, and then she wouldn't jump off anymore. Two of them built a nest together in that tree. We watched them bring fish for their young. We dreamed of our own children. And you are sad because you did not have any. You're not very good at this moment. Finally, it was time to take out the hyena. After all this time, I'm finally going to do it! No! Go for it! Ow! Welcome to Hyena Facts. Did you know that female hyenas have dicks? And they like to fucking rape you with them? This fight was literally, and metaphorically, a giant prostate exam. And when I finally killed Halicet, it was her turn to finally embrace the hyena. Uh, don't worry about it, they only have extra large sizes. I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, time to be hitting the old dusty trail. I want you to meet a friend of mine, he's just in this lake. Huh, I'm sure I'm supposed to do a mission to make this stop, but I'm sure it'll settle itself out in time. Alrighty, that should be- Huh. Well, he probably deserves it. Hey, you guys remember this kid? Feel old yet? I can majorly upgrade my armor with all that hard leather. Huh, I wonder what I can do about this. Aren't you supposed to be some form of god? You're just allowing this to happen? Look at him over there. He knows he can't do anything about it. What a dumb lizard. How do I manage to keep getting myself into these situations? I can't do anything about it. Do y'all people just let me go? I don't want to fight this dude. I'm gonna die. Ah! Oh god, ah! If you fail to fight, the game doesn't force you to do it again, so I'm good. You can keep fighting that old dude. I don't care anymore. Cause I'm free! I just need a little bit of XP. I'm sure you guys won't mind if I just, like, poke at your statue a bit here. Like, it's just a little XP, guys. Oh god. You know what? I got this. Bring it on, boys! Bring it on! Yeah! Oh god! Oh, that was fast. I didn't live long. No, that's- The entire arena experience is just baiting people into traps. Oh, I remember the Lion King! Oh, what are you doing? No! Simba, no! Unfortunately, there's no traps in the Garlic Brothers arena, forcing me to use my sword. On the other hand, I did manage to get on my first try. Soon after we're hunting one of the Order of Agent peoples, I forget their names every time I edit the videos, and I'm not going back to see who, what they were, but I get messed up by her. I'll just give up now. The new plan was pretty much just take her out without the other person noticing. Hey there, bud, you wouldn't mind if I just slipped in and confirmed the kill right behind you? Okay, thanks. During her death, it was revealed something massive to the story. She's allied with that giant crocodile. See, now I need to kill it. In this section, never pick up a dead body. It is completely impossible to get rid of it. Ah! Fuck you, Abstergo! <laughs> she called me Abstergo. 
<laughs> and I don't know why. The next big part of the plan is killing these guys. I mean, getting killed by these guys. We then enter into a boss fight I was not ready for. So, after dying a couple times, I decided to just go back and level up some before starting this fight again. Look, it's not my fault the AI is too stupid to get around the statue, alright? That is completely 100% his fault, and I'm going to take advantage of it. With him down and properly teabagged, we had to play as Aya again for another boat section. Before doing this challenge, I always hated the Aya sections. I just found them to be, you know, somewhat a bit difficult. But now, they're just so easy, because I'm so much use... More... More... You... Fuck. Look, she can kill people, alright? You better be as fast with your bow as they claim or we will be dead! Who claims that? I've never even used my bow. You know what, Caesar? I don't think we need to worry about these guys. I don't think they could hit a shot to save their lives. Okay, Caesar, I take it back. They're actually hitting a couple shots. This might be the end. Oh, don't worry, the war elephant got- THE WAR ELEPHANT! In this area, if you don't shoot the war elephant, he, uh, beats your ass. Eventually, I start throwing Q-tips without the cotton swabs on them, Adam. So, you know, it's not failing the challenge, it just don't have cotton swabs on them, you know? I've been so worried about me failing the challenge, I haven't even considered that Bayek is just gonna do it himself! Come on, man! Y'all remember that war elephant? Yeah, this is gonna be fun. You know what, I'm sure I got this. I'm just gonna pull out this bad boy- Okay, this is gonna take a while. For a little bit, my strategy was to run away and dodge when he got close, and then do a couple attacks and run away again. This just didn't work. The last thing you would think of is to just stay right next to the elephant at all times. This works really well, and I got it on my second attempt while doing this. The next guy we fight is supposed to be really scary, but he is so incredibly easy to beat. If I take any damage, I just run away from him until I heal up again. Surprisingly, I get this on my first try. Turns out this guy is a lot easier than he looks. I decide that I failed the challenge already, so what's the point in continuing? So I punch him. Guards try and stop me from failing the challenge, but I completely wail on them too. This man's about to taste the sweet justice of my hands minus one finger. I'm sure we can talk about this like civilized adults. Ah! We have defeated our enemies. There is no shot any of them heard you. Back at Siwa, we find a really high-tech place, one dead friend, and he gave us a sword to remember him by. ka -ching! Here we fight Flavor. I forgot his name, so I'm gonna call him Flavor. You'll notice that during this fight, I my health is at full. And it's because I wanted to show off just how difficult this fight is before I actually did it. The second the fight starts, he instantly hits me with a Kamehameha, which gives him one free hit that would have killed me if my health was at normal. Then he hits me again that would have killed me if my health was at normal. He then sends his imaginary friends to beat the crap out of me. I even go as far as to attempt hiding. He of course cheats though, shooting me straight through the wall with absolutely close to no warning and hitting me even though his thing wasn't even on me. He then gets the kill, because of course he does. It's right here where I find an actual strategy I could possibly use during the fight. By cornering him up against the wall and using my special ability, I'm able to destroy his HP. He, of course, still kills me. Keep in mind the many deaths I've endured, it, like, I had full health. I had three times as much health as I need for the actual challenge. So, leveling up is a must right now. After some grinding and learning how to play the game a bit better, I managed to get good enough to not only deal a way more damage than normal, like, I mean, look at that. I also forced myself to get way better at dodging, now I'm not dying constantly. Still dying a lot to this fight though. It was only a matter of time and multiple deaths later that I was able to finally get the kill on him. Nothing suspicious going on here, keep going about your patrol. Come on guys, I need to do the joke, I need to bring him to the lake, just don't kill me. I need to bring him all the way over to the lake. Hey guys, leave me alone, I just need- ah! We meet Aya at a nice, romantic sunset. She breaks up with me. Everyone has a happy ending, or, well... Oh, look at you, just sitting there, sleeping, oh... Of course, there's one final Aya section to get over with, and I thought this area was gonna be difficult. I managed to do the boat area and the fight on my first try. You and the Magi shall drench the sheets with your sweat tonight. And with that disturbing scene, I proved you cannot beat Assassin's Creed Origins 
with only a Q-tip. This challenge took me 320 deaths. And since you made it this far, all I ask of you is to go watch another video. And if you've watched all the videos already, I just made a second channel called Red Panda Talks. We cover things from the XQC situation all the way to people summoning ghosts to make music. 